volatile memory and non volatile memory so what is volatile memory volatile memory is a type of memory in which data contained in the memory is lost whenever the system or your computer is turned off means whenever you are turning off your system or your computer the data available in a volatile memory will be lost ram or random access memory is an example of volatile memory it is a type of temporary memory which is not capable of storing the data permanently it cannot store the data permanently this is volatile memory what is non volatile memory it is totally opposite to volatile memory it is a type of memory in which data is not lost in case of power failure or turning off the system abruptly rom is an example of non volatile memory as once the user turn off your computer then content remain intact and will not be lost means if you are turning off your system then also the data will be remain it is a type of a permanent memory in which the content is stored in permanent manner in every situation means it won't be erased and you can see right hand side the list of non volatile memory examples like a flash floppy disk zip disk cd dvd storage tab smart media removable hard disk micro disk memory card and so on. sector and cluster first of all what is cluster a cluster is a logical unit of file storage on a hard disk it's managed by the computer operating system itself any file you are storing on a hard disk it can take one or more cluster of a storage and each cluster can be located on a hard disk in a different different location the cluster associated with the files are kept track in a hard disk file allocation table means uh, the operating system is creating one table and keeping record of all clusters when you read a file the entire file is obtained for you and you are not aware of the cluster it is stored in now what is sector in computer disk storage a sector is a subdivision of a track on a magnetic disk or a optical disk each sector store a fixed amount of user accessible data traditionally 512 byte for hard disk drive and 2048 byte for cd and dvd now slack space and white space so what first what is slack space so slack space is the leftover storage that is exist on the computer's hard disk when computer file does not need all the space which is occupied by the operating system like like let me give you an example there is an image right side of the uh, slide here four block are there which is occupied to the particular file but file contained the data almost uh, occupying three block but the fourth is not occupied but still occupied by the operating system okay so it is empty but is it it is occupied to the particular file that means it is a slack space okay so this is slack space now what is white space a uh, one file has been deleted like there is a one file which is occupied almost fourth block and the, the data is almost fourth block okay now another file now we are deleting that fourth block file like that first file we are going to delete now second file we are going to store on the particular storage like on that particular storage we are going to store one another file that is occupying almost three block like fourth is still left okay so that left left over portion is called void space and that space is also called unallocated space we can retrieve that particular data as well so this is white space and uh, slack space encoding and encryption first of all encoding 
so purpose of the encoding is primarily used to represent the data in specific format so that it can be properly consumed by different type of system or applications make sure that it is not intended for security purpose if the data will encode it with any algorithm the same encoded data will be decoded with the same algorithm and algorithms are very common and it is publicly available now let me give you an example suppose if you are sending one file or one image file to your friend over a internet or over a network using encoding method so and might be somebody is uh, intercepting your data in between that interceptor person can easily read it or easily can see the data because encoding methods are very limited and very few so if you are sending with the encoding method then anyone can easily decode it and anyone can easily see it the process of encoding involve converting the data in one form to the another using scheme or algorithm the primary goal to ensure that the data can be transmitted or interpreted correctly especially when dealing with the non textual data like binary image file or audio files example of encoding there are some encoding methods available like base64 ascii unicode utf8 html ntt encode so this all algorithms are commonly used in various context so this is the encoding now encryption encryption is a encoding technique in which message or data is encoded by using encryption algorithm in such a way that only authorized person can access the data or message or information it is special type of encoding that is used for transferring private data for example sending combination of username and password over internet for email login so this encryption method is used for transfer of data securely so let me brief out this example suppose if you are uh, supposed to log in on the gmail so what you will do you will enter a gmail id and password then you will click on the login button then both the email id and password will travel over the internet and reach out to the server then that server will confirm that data if whether it is correct or not and it will if it is correct then it will send you a mail data so this traveling time over a internet the data will be in form of encrypted okay it won't be like it will travel in a plain text it won't be like that it will be travel in a encryption form so this encryption method won't be common or it is not publicly available so if, suppose this email id and password will travel encrypted format and somebody intercept that particular data so they cannot be decrypt using any public algorithm because individual datas or individual encrypted datas have individual private key it won't be like if i am sending some data and the private key will be same it won't be like that for the individual user the private key will be differ hope you understand the difference between the encode and the encryption thank you for watching next is logical drive and physical drive first is logical drive a logical drive is a drive space that is logically created on the top of the physical hard disk drive a logical drive is a separate partition with its own parameter and its own function and it will operate independently a logical drive can also be called a logical drive partition or logical disk partition now let me give you an example if there is a 1 tb hard disk and we are creating three partition like c drive we are allotting 500 gb 
D drive we are allotting 300 GB and E drive we are allotting 200 GB like total 1 TB hard disk. So this C drive is called logical partition, D drive is called logical partition, E drive is called logical partition. There is one more example of logical drive is if you have two hard disk, each capacity of hard disk is 2 TB and if you want to create single volume of both the hard disk like if you want to create 4 TB volume single volume so what you can do is using the RAID configuration you can create and you can merge both the hard disk and you can create single volume so that volume that drive is also called a logical drive now what is physical drive so physical drives are usually attached with the computers or a with the laptop so in case they can be external like external hard disk or external pen drive that is also a physical drive physical drive is usually you have a physical disk you can see physically that is a physical drive imaging and cloning first disk cloning Disk cloning is like bit by bit copy of your source hard disk to the destination and even disk cloning is the process of copying the entire content of the one hard disk to the another including all information that enable you to boot the operating system from the destination drive. Okay, so if you have one hard disk in that if you have windows operating system and if you will clone that particular hard disk in the another hard disk that another hard disk can be boot if you want this second copy of the hard disk drive is fully operational and can be swapped with the computer existing hard disk as i told so this is the cloning now now what is disk imaging? Disk imaging is a process of making an archival copy or backup copy of entire data of the hard disk. A disk imaging is a storage file that contains all the uh, all the data stored on the source hard disk and the necessary information is also there like a boot to the operating system but however you cannot boot the operating system from the disk image but in cloning as you, we have seen in a cloning process from destination hard disk we can boot the operating system as well so this is the big difference between the disk imaging and disk cloning please subscribe and click the ball icon